Hey everyone, it's Fun Fact Friday and today we're going underwater, kind of. I recently went scuba diving for the first time in a little while and was unfortunately reminded about the importance of ear equalization to avoid damage to our eardrums. And this got me thinking about all the times that I've explained ear anatomy to patients so they can understand some of the symptoms that they get. So I thought I'd bring the lesson to you and I'm even gonna show you a video of my eardrum and the damage I caused. Don't worry, it's very mild. When we talk about the ear, we refer to it in three distinct structures, the external ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The external ear is the part you can see and the ear canal. This funnels sound towards our eardrum. The middle ear is an air-filled chamber with three of the body's smallest bones, or ossicles, connected to the eardrum, or tympanic membrane. And the inner ear is the hearing and balance center. This is where we convert sound into nerve signals. And it's also the hideout of our three semicircular canals, which help us understand where we are in space and manage our balance. Now, we've all experienced pain or even just a pressure sensation when we're either driving up a mountain, taking off in a plane, or diving underwater. This is where I left out the key detail. The middle ear is an enclosed space, which means that as we increase the pressure by say going underwater, it can't shrink to adapt. Instead, we feel that pressure on the eardrum, the tympanic membrane, and it stretches, which causes us pain. But this is where the hero of the story, the eustachian tube comes in. The eustachian tube actually connects from the middle ear to the back of our throat. It provides a sort of release valve. And we can open this tube when we swallow, yawn, or do what's called the Valsalva maneuver, where we forcibly apply pressure into the eustachian tube to open it up. Now, I wasn't very good at equalizing, especially my right ear, which meant as I changed depths underwater, more pressure was applied to that eardrum, and it actually got quite painful and quite red. At one point, I thought I'd ruptured the eardrum, but thankfully, I've got a little otoscope and I looked in myself. I'll show you the video. So there you go, nothing serious. That redness is inflammation. This is what we call mild barrow trauma and it's almost back to normal already. Hopefully this video has helped you to understand the ear, especially the middle ear and why we get those pressure symptoms and how the eustachian tube, the hero, plays a role. If you enjoy these fun facts and other medical information, don't forget to click follow and I'll see you next Friday.